wait to see what's inside. Oh, hello there, friends. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Kai. I'm so glad you're all here today. I was just about to do something really fun and exciting. Do you want to help me? Great! I was hoping you'd say that. My mom gave me this big bin of stuff to look through. She said it will help me with my plan for a very special party. An ice cream sundae party. I am so excited. Let's look inside. Whoa, check out these colorful ice cream bowls. These definitely need to be part of my party plan. Oh yes, spoons. You can eat an ice cream sundae without spoons. Spoons definitely have to be part of this party plan. And so are these decorations. These streamers are perfect. Who, who? It's Ollie. Hello, Kai. Who, who? Planning a party, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I'm putting together my plan for the very best ice cream sundae party the clubhouse has ever seen. I'm so excited. Party planning is fun. It's true. I have a story about a different plan to tell you. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hello friends. I'm Casey and I'm helping out at the Cupcake Food Truck. Happy Ice Cream Sunday Month! <laughs> and what better thing to go with ice cream than cupcakes! See the little ice cream cones on top? I made them for my friend's ice cream Sunday party. He has big plans for his party. That reminds me of today's story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay. So today's true story from the Bible is all about a plan. Did you know that God has a plan for you? It's true! God has a plan for us. And he had a plan for Joseph too, like we see in this true story from the Bible. This is Joseph. Hi, Joseph. <laughs> Joseph had 11 brothers. Let's count them. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven! Whoa! That's a lot of brothers. <laughs> One day, Joseph's father gave him a special gift. It was a coat! An absolutely beautiful coat. When the brothers saw Joseph had a special coat and they didn't, how do you think they felt? Do you think they felt happy? Show me your happy face. Or, do you think they felt mad? Show me your mad face. Which do you think they were? Yes, they were mad that Joseph had a special coat and they didn't. So they took Joseph's coat away and threw him in the ground. That's not good. That would make me sad or mad or even scared, but do you know what? Joseph knew that God loved him and he knew that God was always with him so he could trust God's plan. Just then, his brother showed up and pulled Joseph out of the hole. Uh-oh, what are they doing? The brother sent Joseph with some people going to Egypt and they took him really, really, really Things were not going well for Joseph, but he knew that God loved him, and he knew that God was always with him, so he could trust God's plan. God loved Joseph and had a plan for him. In fact, there is a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. And God loves us, and he has a plan for us too. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <laughs> hey, Ollie, tell me. Who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. 
Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. So there's your story. It's all true. God had a plan for Joseph, and he has a plan for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a story. Joseph must have been really scared, but he knew God loved him and was always with him, so he could trust in God's plan. I think I got this story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Well, speaking of plans, I need to get some help planning for this ice cream sundae party. I think I'm gonna get my friends to help. I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.